Those are national issues. We need a financial transaction tax at a global level where even countries like Kenya pay. We do not want anything for free. You will pay more eventually because you have a bigger economy. We will pay commensurate to our economy. And we want those resources controlled not by IMF and World Bank. Because IMF and World Bank, you have the final say. We don't have no say. We want another organization of equals where you have as much say because you pay as much as we do because we also pay. That's the organization we are looking for. And that is why we are saying we need a new financial architecture where governance, where power is not on the hands of a few people. We can agree on the governance of the institution. We can agree on the sharing of power so that all of us have access to resources that go to making sure, number one, renewable energy. We invest in decarbonization. Number two, adaptation, mitigation, smart agriculture. Number three, restoring our planet, restoring our biodiversity and making sure our carbon sinks work. This is what we are saying, and we would appreciate a little understanding. I mean, we, we, want, we want to be, you know, we are talking the normal. If we continue talking the normal, Emmanuel, we will never solve this problem. Things are not going forward, they are going backwards. Tokenism, installment, will not solve this problem. We have a much bigger problem than the installment we are discussing here will solve. You are not hearing us. I will, I will, if I may, yeah. <laughs> I will answer you in two words to conclude. No, but and let me just finish one more. When uh, uh, Ajay was saying one to five or one to one, who is one and who is five? Private sector versus who is, who is one and who is five? One five dollars five. of private sector mobilization for every dollar of money that comes in. Five from private sector. Surely, uh, Ajay. How do you persuade the private sector to bring their money for public good? Private sector is driven by profit, my friend. I mean, I, I, unless you persuade me otherwise. So we're going to run out of time, but I, there's a whole conversation to be had about what money goes into adaptation versus what goes into mitigation, which part of it the private sector is ready to go for, how they could be investing in renewable energy. There's a whole conversation, which I am relatively confident we will try and address with this group gets going. At least my objective was one for one. But it's feasible because I think the whole point is if you take the first loss. I agree with you if that is the but case. But I mean, I, 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 I love having uh, uh, bold people and uh, I mean, I take the point. Uh, it, is, it is possible to bring risk down. Uh, we have fragmented the instruments in place, so risk is not going down. We can integrate them and we can bring risk down. Uh, but this probably requires a separate session. Yeah. No, but at least you take first loss of guarantee. But just to address your point as a final conclusion, I don't know the country which would accept to have business or people being taxed if it's not voted by your people. This is a sovereign competence. So I agree with you. I want a global taxation. This is my point. But it will be submitted to the acceptation of and the vote of every each national parliament. It's a matter of fact. There is no global tax without a national vote because it's a matter of sovereignty, William. So I love you, your objective. I do share it. My point is I started to do it, but this is not a new, a new global governance. If you accept to have your activities, your people or your business being taxed globally by whom, collected by whom and how, it doesn't exist. So you will have to vote. Let's vote for it all together on the same model. I agree with you, it will be the global tax. Second, I think the best way to address your point is to make the governance reform of IMF and World Bank and to make them much more adapted to the current world. And I'm totally, uh, I totally agree with the new financial architecture proposed this morning by the Secretary General. Let's not create a new one. Let's just transform the ones we had. And final point, what we are discussing 
I'm sorry, but I've been involved in this business probably for too many years. But it's not business as usual. I can tell you, when she proposed a 650 billion capital increase, a lot of people wanted to kill this idea. When we committed for the 100 billion two years ago, it was a big, a big splash everywhere. And the fact that we finalized it, it's not normal business. Otherwise, if going from 30 to 100 means nothing, I mean, I mean, what is the meaning of our concrete action? So if we deliver concretely what we are discussing today, it's a huge transformation of the model. But it's not the end of the game, I agree with you. We do need an in-depth transformation of our global governance, for sure. And we, have, we, we do need a governance of World Bank and IMF reflecting this world, this new demography and the new dynamics. So let's follow up that in the proper session and we, we can find like this evening and tomorrow, but now we are running big, big time out of time. Thank you very much to all of you and let's deliver. Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoy this video and want to hear from me again, hit the subscribe button before you go. Thank you for watching.